an interview. So if she gets a bit upset, then I'm then I've got a, a big problem. To be honest with you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, quick, give us some more. Boo. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. The spines on the porcupines make them easy to identify. What are their natural enemies? Do you know the difference between a porcupine and a hedgehog? We will slowly disassemble the secrets of the porcupine. Porcupines belong to the order of rodents of mammals and are the third largest rodents after capybara and beaver. The spines of different porcupine species have different shapes, all of them are transformed into hairs, with a layer of keratin on the surface, embedded in the muscle tissue of the skin. The main ingredient is protein, which is the same as human hair and nails, the spines of Old World porcupines are clustered, while the spines of New World porcupines are mixed with hair, and the spines are shorter and thinner. The porcupine's spines are sharp and fall off easily. When encountering an enemy, the thorns on the body will be erected. Due to the contraction of the muscles, the thorns on the body will tremble constantly, colliding with each other and making a swish sound. At the same time, it mouth also made a popping sound, trying to scare off the enemy. It will face the enemy with its buttocks and stab the thorn on the buttocks at the enemy backwards. Moreover, their spines have barbs, which can hang on the skin and are difficult to remove. The barbs on the thorns penetrate deeply into the body with muscle movement and eventually become GG due to wound infection. There have been rumors that the porcupine spines can be launched, which of course is not true. For them, thorns are hair. Can you spray the hair out? At best, they just flung out gently after getting close to the enemy. Although they can't launch, their stings sound very lethal, but there are many natural enemies. These include lions, leopards, hyenas, and fisher. If it is an inexperienced natural enemy, the porcupine still has the ability to repel them. However, experienced natural enemies will turn the porcupine over when the porcupine is not paying attention, with the belly facing up. Like a cat, the belly of a porcupine is the most vulnerable part. When its belly is exposed, it must be ready for reincarnation. Although both porcupines and hedgehogs are well known for being covered with arrows and spines, they are not only different in size, but also in their personality to the role of spines. Porcupines are mostly herbivores and feed mainly on bark, plant stems and fruits. The family composition of porcupines is also very similar to that of humans, usually consisting of two adult porcupines and their children living together, and their spines are all in the lower body, so they never face the enemy. Their thorns are also mentioned earlier, they can fall off and grow back, and they will stay on the enemy as a souvenir. Hedgehogs are omnivorous animals, mainly feeding on insects, snails, and fruits, and they can also eat plants that are poisonous to domestic animals. They are solitary animals. If they are kept as pets, you must not have the idea of finding a companion for them. They will even be injured when they mate, Hedgehogs are covered with thorns except for the face, feet, and stomach, and will shrink into a ball when they are in danger or feel uneasy. Hedgehog spines are short and dense and are made of hollow keratin. They are non-toxic, unlike porcupine spines with barbs, and are not very lethal. Their spines do not fall off under normal circumstances. If their spines fall off, it means that there is a health problem. Incidentally, echidna, like the platypus, is one of the most primitive mammals in existence, the echidna has a long slender snout and functions as a mouth and nose, but it has no teeth. The whole body is covered with thorns except for the belly, face and feet. The thorns are composed of protein. Compared to the porcupine, the spines of the echidna are shorter. Take the Australian echidna as an example, the spines are only 50 mm long. The most special thing is that the male echidna has a total of four genitals, which are used in turns during mating. Like Australia's representative animal, the kangaroo and wombat, they also have a baby pouch. Only after the baby echidna begins to grow spines, the burrows are dug to place the baby. When you meet a porcupine in the wild, as long as you don't take the initiative to make trouble, it will usually ignore you. The most important thing to note is that if you are walking with your dog, do not let it approach the porcupine. When the dog curiously smells the porcupine, it also means that it is not far from the sting.